In December 2001, Congress designated the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History as the country's official repository of September 11th collections. This handle belonged to John Dempsher, who's a window washer at um, the North Tower. And uh, he was trapped in an elevator uh, along with several other um, uh, people. And they found themselves when the power went off between floors. He used the handle of the um, squeegee to pry open the doors of the elevator and they found that they were in between floors and um, they used the squeegee and the handle to carve away through um, the drywall and uh, when they came out the other side they discovered that they were in a uh, men's room I believe they crawled out and um, upwards of uh, five people were, were, were saved because of this common everyday implement and we are hoping that I know it looks a little odd right now because they lost the handle when they were cutting through the drywall. It fell through. They had to use like the 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 the, the sharp bits right here to be able to say. And if you look very closely, you can still see some of the drywall is embedded on the piece. That uh, that's slowly been falling off of the object. So it's it's not something that um, we were able to maintain. But um, you know, we're hoping that such a you know odd-looking thing by itself right there um, can help people better understand that, you know, so many different stories happen on uh, September 11th, and, and even everyday items is a squeegee, but not every story that came out of September 11th was one of sadness and grief and destruction. They were able to survive.